In question 1, we're told the point A has coordinates minus 3, 2 and the point B has coordinates 7, k. The line AB has equation 3x plus 5y is equal to 1. In part 8, the first part for one mark asks us to show that k is equal to minus 4. All I'm going to do is sub in the values. So we'll have now 3 lots of a 7 plus 5 lots of k and that will be equal to 1. 21 plus 5k must be equal to 1. Subtracting 21 from both sides, 5k will be equal to minus 20. Dividing both sides by 5, k will be equal to minus 4 as required. In the second part for two marks, it says hence find the coordinates of the midpoint of AB. We have the x's together and divide by 2 and add the y's together and divide by 2. So we'll have minus 3 plus 7 over 2. Then we're going to have 2 plus the value of k, which is minus 4, which we need to divide by 2. That's going to give me 4. 4 over 2 is 2. This is going to give me minus 2. Minus 2 over 2 will give me minus 1. So two marks for the second part. We need to find the gradient of AB in part B for two marks. This is the change in y over the change in x. So I'll have now minus 4, that's the value of k, minus 2 over 7 minus minus 3. That's going to give me in the numerator minus 6 and then in the denominator we're going to have 10. I could simplify this and write that that would be minus 3 fifths. So that is the gradient. In part C for three marks, we're told a line which passes through the point A is perpendicular to the line AB. We're asked to find an equation of this line given our answer in the form PX plus QY plus R equals zero, where P, Q and R are integers. So three marks of this part of the question. For the equation of a straight line, we need two things. We need a point that it goes through, which we've got, that's A minus three comma two, and we also need a gradient. We have the gradient of the line perpendicular to the one that we're looking for. I'm going to say that m1 is equal to minus 3 fifths. Therefore, the gradient of the perpendicular line m2 will be equal to positive 5 thirds. It's the negative reciprocal. m1 multiplied by m2 will be equal to minus 1 if perpendicular. So all I'm going to do is take this gradient... I'm going to take the point and sub it into the equation of a straight line. I'm going to use y minus y1 is equal to m, the gradient, multiplied by x minus x1. So if I sub this information in, we're going to have now y minus 2 is equal to 5 thirds the quantity x minus minus 3, which is x plus 3. Multiplying both sides of the equation by 3, we'll have 3y minus 6 and then expanding the brackets on the right-hand side, 5x plus 15. I'm going to subtract 3y from both sides and add 6 to both sides of the equation. That's going to give me 5x minus 3y plus 21 is equal to 0. So we can see the value of p is 5, the value of q is minus 3, and the value of r is 21. In part d for 3 marks, we're told the line ab with equation 3x plus 5y equals 1, intersects the line 5x plus 8y equals 4 at the point C. We're asked to find the coordinates of C. So this is a case of simultaneous equations, and there are lots of different approaches. All I'm going to do is write that equation 1 is 3x plus 5y is equal to 1. Equation 2 is 5x plus 8y is equal to 4. Lots of choices from here. I'm going to multiply equation 1 by 5, and I'm going to multiply equation 2 by 3. That's going to make the x values the same. So we're going to have 15x plus 25y is equal to 5. If I multiply equation 2 by 3, 15x plus 24y is equal to 12. I'm going to subtract downwards, so I'll do 1 minus 2. That's going to cancel the x's. I'm going to have y will be equal to minus 7. I'm going to sub minus 7 back in. I can choose any equation. I'm going to choose 1. 
we'll have 3x plus 5 lots of y, which is minus 7, is equal to 1. 3x will be equal to 35 plus 1, which is 36, and x will be equal to 12. So we need to find the coordinates, and we can say the coordinates are 12, comma, minus 7. So for three marks in the final part, we can say now that C is this point right here. As stated, lots of different ways that you could solve those equations. Either way round, we should have these coordinates.